Hey everyone. Today I wanted to address something that I've missed. Um, you may have noticed that there are some sleepy villages around here and there's not an animation for them sleeping. They're just kind of standing idle and there's these little Z's above their head just to show that they're bored and sleeping, whatever. And I'd like to do a sound for that, just for the heck of it, so we can see how that works. I'm going to find our villager blueprint. In here, there's got to be some hints about how that works. So let's just look around. Okay, so here we're seeing a behavior tree. That shows like how the different animations are connected and their different behaviors. Like it shows, you know, how they would change from one state to another. And so maybe we should check into that. And so to find this behavior tree, I think I'm gonna go back into here. Let's check AI. Here you see the BT underscore and on the bottom it also says behavior tree. Uh, that's what we're looking for, and since they're sleeping, we're going to check out this idle one. Okay, so here is the idle behavior tree, and you know, you don't see anything that says sleep, or, but what is standing out to me is this play Niagara. Niagara is Unreal's version of a particle system, basically, and so uh, what that is is uh, things like the Z's you're seeing above the character's head like just little, basically like visual effects. Actually, when you select it, now you can see sleepy is what's being selected here. And so something else you could do is if you think about our reference viewer video we had before, you could always, you know, look in here. Uh, if you type in sleep, you'll find that. Open the reference viewer and you'll end up back where we are right now on this BT idle. So I'm going to close this for now because we're already here. I'm going to double click this and we're getting pretty close. And so right here, I do already have an event made for the snore. We just want a cute little snore here like this. Um, I am going to add a spatializer so we can kind of show the location of our people and we can adjust this later when we see how things work. And so what I'm going to do is we are going to play event at location. We're going to look for snore. And since it's a play event at location, you have to have a location. And so this is kind of showing you already like sort of what is holding this Niagara basically. I'm going to take and drag this. I'm going to get location. I'm going to get world location here and then you can drag off of this to this location and it automatically converts um, this vector into a transform. Sometimes you can get the world transform. Let me see if that was something I could do. Because this kind of saves a step in the code. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Let's use that instead because that is a bit cleaner. Because the FMOD events, they do require a transform rather than a vector. Let's compile that and save. And we're going to see if we're hearing them snore. Who's sleeping? Okay. I'm hearing them, but you have to zoom way in, so we're gonna work on that some more. And this is a good reason that we should probably just test our sounds in 2D or a print string to begin with. That way you'll know for sure if your sound is being triggered. So my bad guys, learn from my mistakes. Okay, I hear some people sleeping. I 
And something that we can add to this uh, to make it better, I'm not going to do it right now, but you can add a multi-instrument to your event to make, you know, add a variety here. Um, I wouldn't suggest looping it in this situation. I would suggest it just being triggered. This just seems to work for this situation. And so there you have it. You've got some snoring, guys. So you need to put them to work. Next in the tutorial series, we're probably going to check out the UI here. We need some cute little pops and clicks for all of this. So I'll see you then.